Do you ever watch pirated movies? No way, me neither. There's no way I would go online and watch that stuff that's completely free and available to me anytime when I have Netflix, which has such a limited library of TV shows and movies where I can, you know, pay for cable, which I don't want to do. I would never watch something that's pirated. But, you know, in the spirit of things, let's just say that I do. Occasionally, there are some movies where on poorly translated websites, you just find the most ridiculous descriptions for those movies. Today, we're not going to be gaming. We're not going to be drinking. Well, that's a lie. We're going to be drinking. Vodka Cranberry is the official drink of the white girl. We're just going to go ahead here and read a couple of my favorites from some of my favorite pirated movie and TV shows. That's a lie. I don't watch pirated movies and TV shows ever. Club. Five teenagers with various troubles are in detention and experience Saturday in the school library together. Meet at 7 a.m. They seem so different and have nothing to say to each other. They are so different and have nothing to say to each other. We just have to say it twice. It was that important. But at 4 p.m. they gradually become close friends after undergoing hard out together and realize that they really do not differ as much as they think. In real life they remain bookworm, Brian, athletes, Andy, the trash, Allison. That just fucking killed me. She's not a basket case, she's just the trash. She's just trash. No, 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 sorry, she's not trash. She's the trash. The, the one and only. She's the trash. Princess, Claire, and criminals, Bender. But in each other's eyes, they'll always belong to the breakfast club. Daddy's home. This description's kind of hilarious because it made this really horrible comedy seem like the most tragic shit you'll ever experience. When Brad Whitaker is married to Sarah, he becomes stepdad to her two kids, Dylan and Megan. Unfortunately, after an accident, Brad cannot produce children for his own, so he tries to make the kids accept him as his father. However, the kids don't seem to appreciate his effort very much. Things even get harder for Brad when their true father shows up. The Parent Trap! Parent Trap is a comedy film about two identical whose parents have divorced. Identical what? He didn't say. They have lived separately for a long time until met each other in a summer camp. They soon realize each other and decided to twist their life to met parents. Moreover, they make a lovely trap to bring their parents together. I just love that because I picture Dr. Evil being like, the laser beam hairspray. Hairspray talks about a little girl with a passion for dancing and love to perform in a dance program. But since then, she has received the grudge from her dance partner. Whether she could pursue her dream while she is under too much pressure. Or what? Whether what? Jumanji! Jumanji is a strange and mystery game box. Two children, Alan and Sarah, discovered Jumanji box in a warehouse. Curiously, they tried to sew dice and they are attracted to the game. After several sewing dice, Alan mysteriously disappeared and Sarah run out of the warehouse for thousands of bats. Pretty sure there's more to the movie than that opening sequence right there. That's all they describe is the first, you know, 10 minutes of the movie when they have a flashback to when Robin Williams was a kid. There's a lot of movie after that. You stop right there. Yeah, the bats go, but then they come back later and the other kids find it in the attic. You're missing the best part. Insidious. Insidious is a horror film, tells the story of two boys capable of bringing the soul, leaves the body to come up with the other world. But this possibility also makes two boys in trouble. How does everything happen, comma, the fellow movie Conspiracy Devil and Discover Offline? What? The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride is a classic fairy tale with a sword fight match, giants, an evil prince, a beautiful princess, and kisses. Dot, dot, dot. The Princess Bride movie is fairy tale about Buttercup and Wesley Farmer Guy. I love that one. It's like they have the first sentence, oh my god, it's about princesses and kisses and, and sword duels and monsters and ah! Ha, 
jokes. It's just about a princess that's a fucking farmer guy. Who gives a shit at? Aquamarine. It's a comedy, but unreal. Two teenage girls discover a mermaid in their beach club swimming pool. She promises them a wish if they help her prove to Neptune love exists. And Raymond is the only creature resembling a love god. Oh, man. All right. Pineapple Express. In Pineapple Express, after accidentally witnessing a murder by police officers' causes, Dale Denton and his friend Saul Silver forced to plunge into the escape. Watch movie and hope the film will bring laughter and relaxing moments for you! That sounds very fucking relaxing. Thank you. I will enjoy this. Maybe with the help of a lot of this. This is my fucking favorite. Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat. This animation film is about a funny cat always wearing it doesn't say what, it just says always wearing. Through the action playing out, the cat teaches two brothers Conrad lessons. Never forget that parents always love you. Let's follow this naughty cat in this interesting movie. The Hangover Part 3. A stupid comedy that this description makes it sound like it's fucking Schindler's List or something. In this part, there is no wedding. Do not become a bachelor. That's not part of the description, that's just a quote for life. Don't become a bachelor. A lot of shit happened to become a bachelor. Something may be wrong or right, but when the wolf pack had chosen his path, then all wagers have lost. This is also where the movie The Hangover Trilogy ends, dot, dot, dot. Cheaper by the dozen. Tom Baker has 12 children from Anna Hare, who is preparing for marriage to the naughty twin, Kyle and Nigel. Sometimes, it makes Tom feels mad. In addition to coaching for a team of students, Tom always has to pay attention and take care of his children. This couple do not have enough time for each other because they are too busy. The Santa Claus. This funny film includes many famous stars. Its content is a story about Santa Claus. At the Christmas Eve, a man accidentally kills Santa Claus. So he has to wear Santa Claus's clothes and turn into Santa to give gifts for everybody. That description's not too far off, but what I love are just the big quotations around he accidentally kills Santa. Oh, oh man, was it an accident? Son of a bitch murdered the son of a bitch. I think that's enough for today. I'm sure there are funnier ones out there. And guess what? I'm sure as fuck I'm gonna find them. Have a good day.